And there you have a door collar. Hi, I'm Marlon from the Strap Warehouse. Today I want to introduce you to a brand new product that we have. It's called the Hobbyist Beginner Kit. Over the past couple years, we fielded a lot of calls from people who are looking to make their own dog collars and leashes and so on. And we have the biothane, we have the hardware, we have some tools for manufacturers, but not so much for the hobbyist. And so we wanted to be able to give people a way to come to one website and to purchase with one click, purchase everything that you need to make a dog collar or a leash. Let's show you what you get with each kit. I'm really excited about this. This is going to be great. I'll just pull them out one by one. This is a leather punch. It has several uh, different punches. Let me open it up here. And you can change the punch size by rotating this. Very simple. Now there are other punches like this that are not made quite like this and they're hard to use but this works well we'll show you later when we actually make a collar you get the hardware that you need these are the d-rings and the buckles three-quarter inch d-rings and three-quarter inch buckles you also get the jiffy rivets some people call these double cap rivets we call them jiffy rivets that you can press together You also get the setting tool for the Jiffy rivets. You will get uh, this end punch. This is a round end punch that's made for the three-quarter biothane that you will be getting. You'll put these together. I'll show you that in a minute, how to put those together and how to cut. Hang tags, if you decide to sell your your collars, uh, you can prove that this is genuine biothane material that you're using. And also a, uh, a base to punch into. The biothane rolls that you get, it's biothane beta standard. The beta looks and feels like leather. This is the standard thickness. The kit comes with the orange and the deep sea blue. If you want other colors, you can go to our beta standard page and you can buy any colors uh, 25 foot lengths that you want. Last but not least you will get this nice template that we've made up so you don't have to figure out where to put your holes. It's all right there. You'll cut that out, punch holes, and then you'll use it as a template to mark your biothane. We'll show you that here in a moment as well. Hey, so now that you know what's in the box Let's head down to the workshop and make a collar. All right, cut out the template. So now I'm just gonna mark off the collar where we're gonna make our holes and our cuts. Get it nice and even, just make a little mark there so we know where it's at. So the first, after, after you've marked your, your Biothane, you want to put the the end cut together with the holder. It's very simple. Put it in there, tighten it up. Then you want to bring your strap over. Sometimes it works best if you turn it like this so that you can see that you got it right. You want to have that lined up so it makes a nice even cut and there now that you have the ends cut nice and round and even you are ready to make your holes uh, we're using the third hole from the smallest that's what we're doing on this and you just simply go over your mark and you squeeze and you'll hear it click listen for the click Okay, and you give it a twist, and it makes a nice clean hole. So you make all of your holes. So 
So you want to put the hardware on now. So you start with the buckle first and you go up, up from the bottom. You fold it and down through like that. And then you're going to line these holes up, these back holes. Right there they are. Now you want to get your anvil and your driver and your hammer ready, whatever hammer you decide to use. You need to have it out at the edge. If you put it on the on the corner of your of your workbench, it's much more solid because you're right above the leg. This one we need to come in just a little bit, and now that's right above the leg. Lay this out here. Take a rivet. And you want to make sure that you put that side of your rivet down because the other side is the nice looking side. You put them together. Now you're ready to use that driver. Put it on your anvil. You use the driver. Pull everything together. And one good sharp hit should do it. And there it is. So the next thing you want to do is put your D-ring on. And your D-ring is going to go right here between there. And you slide that on in between. Now you're ready for your jiffy rivet. And then your cap. left is to put the hang tags on if you're going to sell it. Um, you can use them on your dogs, you can give them away, you can sell them. It, it really is that simple. Even someone as clumsy and non-crafty as me can do it, so I know that you can too. So remember, better is possible. <laughs>